you still there or are we having some problems? No, I'm still here. Oh. I was just going to say, like, are we watching this game? Like, are we watching a replay? Or something? Because, like, the game looks exactly like it did the last game. You know what I mean? Uh, like, oh, but, oh, 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 the coon has decided to expand. Indeed so. he has. And this, this stream is just utter trash tonight, apparently. I can leave and turn off everything if you think that'll help. Oh, let's see. And we're back live. Hi, I don't know what happened there. So, we got an expansion down. I don't know. Uh, engineering Bay is also down and uh, a wall almost semi being completed by Underpowered, who's at 52 supply right now, whereas the Coon is at 49. However, we are perhaps going to see some two base versus two base action. Yeah, definitely here. Um, so as soon as the next is finished, you should go ahead and uh, transfer some of these probes. I would say about eight probes need to be transferred. Wow, he's definitely been on top of that production. Oh, that's good. Oh, and there he goes. The transfer being a little bit late. Could have sent him down just before it finished, but that's nitpicky. We can still send two more. Can he? Oh, wow. Yeah. He's a lot of saturation. Ooh, but, nice. Let's open up that income tab just out of curiosity, and we see that uh, no, he's still behind. We got uh, bills are good, man. Well, we also have five more harvesters for underpowered right now. Overall, six more now. Uh, so perhaps a few more chronos need to be laid down. Yep, there they go on the next side, and probably could just set both of his rallies to his expansion, as again, he is still oversaturated there at the main. We're going to come up here and see all of the fun things that are happening. Ooh, the coon is getting to take an image of all of that. He sees that, yes, there's a starport. Yes, there's a factory. There are still three racks and looks like the same marine marauder makeup that there was previously. Yes, this build is identical to the last one. Um, I think the coon will probably not move out like he did last time, and he'll probably fare much better. Because last time, like, yeah, it looked like he caught underpowered moving out, but underpowered was just able to turn around and stim, and he just had a great concave and wiped up everything. Awkward moment for the Kuhn as he gets very supply blocked. He has been for about 15 seconds now and finally gets out of it. Uh, so that puts him a little bit behind, but never mind. Underpowered also suffering some supply block of his own. Yeah, it's actually the second supply block that he had. Um, he was supply blocked at the 74 food mark or whatever um, right around there. So he's got two supply tables coming down, so he's going to unfree himself. Um, we see plus one finishing, just finished now from the engineering bay, so that'll make those marines that much stronger, and I have a feeling he knows the observers there, just based on the fact of where those uh, marines are standing. He's just waiting for a moment to scan uh, it or something? We do uh, have... Uh, uh, the factory. Mule, Ooh, that factory is going to die pretty quick. That's a lot of stalkers who um, are going to prevent it from being able to see everything that's happening in the base. Not that there's all that much down low. He just missed the fact that there are two immortals, but he did see a robot facility doing research. Uh, and there's really no other tech out of the coon just yet, which is a little disappointing. If he's not going to tech, uh, there we go. Got another gateway and a robotics bay coming down, and we have underpower deciding that it's just about time to move out as his third is almost done, and he's going to lay down two more barracks just behind that. A third one completing very soon, so that's going to put him out to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven when they're all done. And only the one starport, but with a reactor, it's going to provide quite a nice amount of medevacs. Yeah, um... It's gonna need to get some. Coon's gonna need to get some good force fields here. So let's just put it that way. Yeah, we have a double forge. No, a single forge coming down. Finally, hopefully he starts laying down some chrono on that as well as he's already behind in upgrades. The um, observer for the coon followed underpowered all the way down. Not that it matters anymore because these pylons are in an awkwardly forward position. Oh, they under. Oh, that's not what he they wanted. They underpowered. They underpowered. The overpowered under item. Not that he really needed it that much, but he was researching something. I'm just, uh, oh, he's upstream rain? Oh, oh yeah. wow, a nice stim out of underpower getting that nice position. Oh, they're just, the force fields are Aren't interesting. They're, they're not, I'm sorry. <laughs> but however, the stalkers need to be microed forward a little bit if they all want to engage. Now there's only marauders left. If only he could target fire down these medevacs, the, the marauders wouldn't get to have stimmed 
three times like they have so far. However, the medevacs are going to get out. And the Coon, uh, he traded fairly well there, but he could have done a lot better in that overall combat. Yeah, he definitely put himself in quite a corner there by backing up. I mean, but it was totally fine. Like, he lived. So, yeah. can't complain there. And it looks like underpowered uh, missed um, of the new barracks on his hotkey. Uh, he needs to reassign them still. That's the only reason why he doesn't have a huge army waiting to go and attack again. Uh, yes, now now he's selecting. Yeah, that is. Now he's oh, selecting yeah. all of them. And, yep, now they're all added. He's got 11 in total. And he's just loaded up a medevac, but I don't think it's going anywhere just yet. He's got a fourth command center down. Definitely did well behind that attack. Yeah, you'll notice he's actually spending his money on, like, uh, the coon who's flooding at 1500 right now. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, he needs to lay down about it's six more gateways right now. He's got one, two, three, four. He could lay down seven more gateways and still be just fine. So he did just pick off that observer that was uh, with the army. Yep, photon cannons going down, though, at a pretty good time. They're going to be just slightly too slow to stop this drop from happening. Yeah, they are. But, they will, but they will be in time to, like... You know, no, you shouldn't he, lose anything besides the photon cannons. So. Uh, I think he may lose the robotics facility if the stim target fire goes down. And it does. Oh! Just barely. You like, told you. I can lose anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you told me. I don't know what I was thinking. Wow, it's a lot of SCVs at the third, and yeah, it's still has a lot great of probes at the natural at the main. He has great saturation everywhere. Let's open up that units tab. Only 66 uh, SCVs, it just seems like more than that. I guess it, he has a really good amount at his mostly mined out main and natural. And that fourth is just landed, it's upgrading to a planetary. The observer is coming back in, let's see what the tycoon gets to see. Lots of marines and marauders, a couple medevacs. And looks like he's content to hang out there by the light pole and see everything that's coming down. I wish he, he flew up into the main and saw that there are 11 racks producing his death he has one colossi but he's behind by 70 supply and he still has no and he lay down a second robo uh yeah he could he could be pumping a double colossi with this right now he really needs a bunch more gateways he needs it's just he's only got four he's underproducing a lot now we see that finally uh underpowered is starting to float at a lot of minerals but he's got 196 supply he's coming down with half of his army right now but i still think that's enough he stims four there is no micro back out of the coon the colossus is immediately targeted down the second colossus gets a few shots off but really their pot shots is that stim along with the plus one attack upgrade was just way too much for these unupgraded protoss units that's a lot of stim stim like three times yeah he did but with four medevacs it's viable and i've never it's interesting though he didn't get uh combat shield for his range oh he didn't uh, that may have been just that he missed that uh, so far